Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. We <laughs> are glad you are with us today. Let's sing. Oh, 
ever played a game and someone says, we aren't keeping score or everybody's a winner? <laughs> Sometimes we might think it's no fun when the, when the rules allow everybody to win. Because if everybody wins, nobody wins, right? That's what the world often tells us. But I wonder what it would be like if we lived life like, well, where the best rules were put in place to see everyone included and loved. I think that sounds a lot like the guidelines that God has for us. Let's watch today's video and take a look at what those rules look like. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Exodus chapter 20. Before Moses and the Israelites ended up in the desert, they used to live in a land called Egypt. They weren't treated well there. God rescued the Israelites from Egypt and told them to head out for a new land. The Israelites had been in Egypt for a long, long time. They didn't really know how to live out there on their own. So God guided them by giving them commandments. These were like rules. Sometimes we don't like rules, but the reason for these rules was to help the people of God to know how to love God and each other. First, God told them to put God first in everything. That means everything we do is for God. Second, this meant worshiping only God. Some people worship fake gods or they worship created things like trees or birds. God instructed them to worship the creator, not the creation. Third, since God was the only real God they needed to respect God's name, that meant taking care of how and when they said it. Thought and care should go into each time they said God's name. This is also a way to show love to God. Fourth, believe it or not, we can also show God love by resting. God made it that way. God rested on the seventh day of creation. God instructed the people to rest on the seventh day of the week also. How cool is that? We can love God by simply resting. Fifth, God instructs the people to obey their moms and dad. This was a way for them to love each other. Six, God told them to be kind. That means don't hit or hurt another person. Seventh, God said they should keep their promises. Doing what you say you'll do is a way to show love to others. Eight. God told them to love others by leaving their things alone. Don't take what isn't yours. Ninth, God instructed them to tell the truth. Tenth, God instructed the Israelites that they should be happy with what they have. Don't waste time wishing for someone else's stuff. God knew that if they obeyed these commandments they'd been given, they would be loving God and others and we can still make that choice to obey these commandments today. We can love God and others. Sometimes we may feel like rules are a pain to have to follow. We may not like it when our parent or teacher gives us guidelines that don't allow us to do what we want. But like our parents and teachers who care about us, God's rules come from a place of love. Because God loves us, God gives us guidance so that we can live in ways that will lead us to healthy relationships with God, others, and ourselves. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for loving us enough to give us guidelines, to keep us safe, to keep us healthy, to help us have good relationships with the people around us. And God, help us follow your rules with an obedient heart. And everybody said... Amen. Amen. See, See you, you next time. time.